As we walk daily through the Word, the next few chapters of Jeremiah, chapters 46 through 51, focus on different Gentile nations that God, through the prophet Jeremiah, speaks prophecies of destruction against. This chapter, chapter 46, deals with Egypt. Beginning in verse 2, the Lord says, This message concerning Egypt was given in the fourth year of the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, the king of Judah, on the occasion of the battle of Carchemish, when Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, and his army were defeated beside the Euphrates River by King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Prepare your shields and advance into battle. From a purely historic perspective, the Battle of Carchemish was perhaps the most important in ancient Egyptian history. This critical Assyrian city was conquered by Egypt in about 605 BC, bringing about the fall of the Assyrian Empire. However, when Pharaoh Necho returned to Egypt, he made a tactical error, leaving too small a garrison to guard the newly acquired city. This left the door wide open for the rising world power, Babylon, to take the city from Egypt later that same year. Of course, God, who lives outside of time, had already warned the Egyptians to prepare themselves for war and had predicted their utter defeat given here in great detail. But what's interesting to me, God through it all is working out his plans. God's desire then and now is to draw the whole world into his plan for redemption. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. See, God desires to redeem every life, to be used in his service to reach the world. And God always has a remnant. Verse 27 says, But do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant. Do not be dismayed, Israel. For I will bring you home again from the distant lands, and your children will return from their exile. Israel will return to a life of peace and quiet, and no one will terrorize them. I will completely destroy the nations which I have exiled you, but I will not completely destroy you. God still has a plan for Israel, and God still has a plan for you and I. Let's live out God's plan today. Mm -hmm.